um, pretty well versed in the energy field. So today, we're going to get a good understanding of the 2009 IPCC with respect to uh, the residential chapter, chapter 4. Um, we're going to identify what the mandatory requirements are. I'm going to explain to you what the difference between performance path and prescriptive path are for uh, ways to be able to comply uh, with the energy code. We're going to show you what the visual inspection checklist is. I actually go through a couple of pictures. You guys uh, are going to have some exercises in that. Um, does everybody have a participant guide that was given out when you first came in? Yes, okay. Because uh, there's going to be, or there is, exercises in there with respect to that. Um, also, we're going to show you how ResCheck is used uh, to show compliance. And then down here on the bottom left of the screen, uh, you'll see that there are page numbers down there. Those page numbers refer to items that are in the participant guide. So on page two, uh, it's just a little recap of what we're going on or what we're planning on doing here today. So in order to get started, we're going to go through uh, essentially four steps, chapters one through three, then go into the meat of the uh, residential energy code, uh, also describe how ResCheck is used, and then finish it up by putting it all together and actually looking at a couple sets of plans that we have for, uh, for review. So as I said, uh, you guys coming in, you guys all got a participant guide when you came in. 